today. We're actually in Baja. <laughs> Things were going really well. He just stopped. All right. We are here in the greatest stretch of desert on planet Earth. We finally made it here. So if you've been following along up until this point, it's been a pretty wild year preparing for the Baja 1000 for all of us. Say that again. Everything from the livery launch we did with Lil John, it Papa's and Beer and Rosarito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my homie Alan Ham, Kid Glock. I want to see the truck. to testing this truck out in Plaster City with some huge jumps and some of the gnarliest whoops in the world. this journey, Ken and Alex managed to qualify third at Vegas to Reno. It's the very first race they ever did in a trophy truck. Nice. How will he handle Calamity Corner? Be careful, Ken. There's a big hole out there. Oh, oh. look at that. He hocks it. And we even managed to squeeze in a little Gymkhana action when we set up a Gymkhana grid course out at Irwindale just a few weeks ago. My man, Jax Redline. How you doing? What up, dog? You ready? Back in Baja. That's right. Wait a minute. You gonna hit him with it? We're actually in Baja. Hit you with the Baja update. Baja update! See, people are learning. So, right now, we are one day out from the Baja 1000. This is the 54th running of this race. Now, yes. how many of these have you done? You know, so this will be my third, I believe. Pretty crazy thing about this is when you hear the Baja 1000, 1,000 miles, right? Last year's was actually 850, something like that miles. This year is 1,260 miles. So we're at La Bufadora, south of Ensenada in Baja. Pretty much this is the shop that we keep our trucks in before the race. Last final checks, get our stuff set up, and uh, go straight to the start line from here. So this year, things are a lot different. Normally, you come down here to Ensenada, it's a huge party in the streets. Contingency takes up the entire boulevard and you know, there's thousands of people. Well, it's a little different. This year, it's off to the water. It's, they're not having like the big celebration. The second part that has changed is how the race is starting. Turn one and two of the whole entire race, full up to speed. See how sideways I can get this thing off the start line, but then we have a couple miles uh, that is not timed, and then mile five is the restart for the whole race. Let us go a minute at a time and then the race actually starts from there. We go straight from the start line up to 140 miles an hour on the highway. It's so sketchy. Nice. We like sketchy here. You'll notice Mr. Ken Block is not here right now. That's because him and Alex uh, over the last few days have been down pre-running their leg of this race. Mm -hmm. Checking with them, see what's up, see how it's been going. All right, we're down here in the Bay of LA. Alex and I just finished two days of pre-running. Alex had already come down here before and done a couple passes of pre-running, so we already had notes. So we were able to go pretty quick through our section. Uh, and we did it three times over two days. Most teams actually spend weeks down here, the top teams, to try and win. We have a shorter section. So we were able to do what we needed, and I'm really confident with what we have, but it's not as much as a lot of other top teams have done. We have a really fast section, a couple tricky spots, but I think it's gonna be good. Buenos dias and welcome to beautiful Ensenada. We are here on the water, and it is race day here for the 54th running of SCORE Baja 1000. Baja update! We are now live at the Baja 1000. We got our boys here. They're ready to take on the desert. Two minutes to race time, let's go. Up next, we've got Alan and Pudia here out of Ensenada, Baja California, Mexico. They teamed up with Ken Block. It looks like Alex Colosimo, Jack Redline, Steve Kobe. Off they run with that Monster Energy machine.
so Jax left this morning from Ensenada about five hours ago. Uh, he's about 250 miles in. We've just been hanging out at the beach today because there's nothing else for us to do. This is real? This is genuinely one of the weirdest race experiences I've ever had, but coolest also. So it's an endurance race, it's long. We get in the truck in a couple hours, sun's about to go down. So we'll have dinner, we'll go over to the race course and wait a couple hours there in the pits. Eventually he'll show up. We'll do about a minute driver change, tire change, and fuel. And we'll get on the road uh, and meet up with Al Lampudia down the peninsula. Race started this morning for Jax and things were going really well. Third third on the road, looked like he was third overall, but 50 miles out from where we are sitting at Bay of LA, he just stopped. Hey, wait, don't have a photo. We're going fine, we're going real good. We pulled into the pit. They said the axle was coming out. We think the axle's too long. It knocked the cap off of the axle. And so now we got some racing guys on the side of the course helping us out. We'll be third way through the race. It's going really good. We're running like podium position, but stuff happens in Baja. So what they're trying to do here, they're trying to take the grinder and shorten the axle. So hopefully we'll get the truck back going and take it to Ken, and then on to Allen. So, I don't know, we're only third way through. See what happens, see ya. Four miles to go. Copy that. So Jack, so uh, he was hammered. He's been in third place all day. Race mile 450, the tracker stopped. So like, we're like freaking out, like what the heck? We'll see what, what that what that does to us. But man, at least we're back at it. And uh, here we go, 700 more miles, and we'll uh, hopefully get her to the finish. How'd it go? Everything was going pretty good. We're holding third forever. We always had a gap all day long. Hey, what is this, race ball 488? You got about another yeah, 800 to go? Yeah, yeah, Ken just got in, Ken and Alex just got in. I guess we're what, eighth on the road, something like that? Yeah, you're only, there's, I mean, yeah, there's 25 trucks have right. started and you're like eight, yeah. physical, I mean, there's eight uh, there's trucks. There's gonna be a lot more breaking and stuff, so. What's up guys, Alan and Pudia here. We're at uh, race mile 635 right after check two. Uh, there's a pit where I get in and Ken Block gets out. I'm gonna take it all the way home to La Paz. Still, you know, long ways to go to the finish. Never give up, so I'm gonna push hard and you know, do what I do. Still early in the night, so let's see what we can do. So Alan Impudia is now driving the truck. He jumped in not too long ago. Uh, he is currently seventh in the trophy truck class. Hopefully, Alan can make up a lot of time. I mean, there's still 600 miles to go. <laughs> so we're gonna be going deep into the night. I think I'm gonna try to get some rest. And we'll do another update and come sunrise.
first thing in the morning Friday here, just got up and checked this score app and it looks like Allen is about two hours out from the finish um, and he's currently holding fifth so he's advanced through the night. So we're gonna head down to the finish line right now, meet up with some folks and uh, see if we can catch him coming through. Finish. I'm just, I'm just the driver. You know, I'm everyone else come through. Does, they got does Simon from Trophy Burrow here. here. You know. You know. Yeah, What's everyone, up? Uh, I'm very grateful for all the guys. On Alan will be coming across the finish line shortly. Side Alan side was holding fourth here all the way to the end. So he's able to cover a lot of ground last night. So pretty stoked on that. Kim Black, Jack's red line, unofficially uh, fourth place right now. Well, they say Baja is a cruel mistress, and that's for sure. And, uh, and it, you know, sometimes things happen out here, but it's glad, you know, the good thing is we got you here safe. Yeah, I mean, we got here safe in one piece. The truck looks good still, so, yeah, that's what we can ask for. Very awesome. I'm going to see if I can get uh, Ken over here and uh, talk to him a little bit. This is not something usually you do. See so you sliding around corners quite a bit, and... Uh, you do that in the dirt, but we threw a few bumps and whips with you. Yeah, well, I grew up in Southern California with dirt bikes in the desert, so I absolutely love the desert. My road reading skills from Rally work really well in the desert, so I had a really good time. Pre-running was incredible. Racing was fun, but almost dust the entire time we were in the truck. Ah, my eyes! But working with Jax and Alan was amazing, so... It was a great partnership. Too bad we had some mechanical issues there right before I got in the truck, and... Lost about half an hour, uh, the fourth place at that time. But, you know, it was a great experience, and I uh, really enjoyed it, and hopefully be back again. Yo, hey, how yeah. was it? Uh, it was awesome, yeah, just what a fantastic experience. I'm stoked to see our teammates here bringing it home. Looks like it's gonna be a top five, so uh, we had some issues yesterday, but, you know, to be here feels really, really good. Oh, yeah. You know what? Congratulations! You have the reddest eyes I have ever seen. Like, you know? I've been I've been driving since 10 p.m. last night. So it is 10:39. Yeah, I've been up since like 4 p.m. yesterday. So wow. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what position were you guys in when you jumped in the truck? Uh, when I when Ken and Alex gave us a truck, I believe we were like ninth physical, mm -hmm. and we pulled it to, pulled into the finish fourth physical. So. Um, yeah, it was a long night, a lot of dust, uh, not very fun, it was not very enjoyable, but you know, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Happy to be here, the truck is in perfect shape, the toy tires were hooking up all night, no flat tires for any of us, so that was great. Wait, and, not uh, a single flat, this not entire a race? Flat, baby. D D D no flats? Amazing, thank no you flats. Toyota. No flats? No Holy flats! Shit. Yeah! <laughs> well, gentlemen, you know what, he kicked some ass. I'm really excited that, you know, I'm, I'm excited that you're doing Baja because I feel like this sport, this this style of driving really matches your personality. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoy it. I just wish there wasn't so much dust involved, but, but we just have to get out front and then you don't deal with the dust as much. Just be faster. Right. right. <laughs> well, I guess on that note, is it Fiesta time? <laughs> I guess. Let's hear it. Baja! Update. It is Fiesta time because we are done 
The truck is in one piece. Everybody made it back safe. Now it's time to go enjoy ourselves in Mexico. Ken, congratulations. Give them yeah. Micah. <laughs> Next up, Leah races Baja 1000 2022. Captain. Solo. What's it like using a catheter? Can you actually even do it while you're at like race pace? Because like it's attached, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I like the duct tape though. I tried. I tried the duct tape, but then oh it just my. it just came off. At some I've point. I've only ever been able to do it once. Yeah. I peed three I, times. I, what? I peed three times. Yeah. Wait, really? Oh, yeah.